Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna take a couple of trades live and we will see how it goes. So I will go with the sellers right after this candle close. Let's go, let's go with the sellers here. Alright, so the reason behind this is because this is a basically a supply area and this candle closing here, okay, and this is a pattern that needs retracement. That's why the sellers most likely they're gonna enter. Okay, and also we have been broken this ABC when we are breaking an ABC, there's high chance to, um, you know, sellers uh, in the, you know, ABC to the downside. When we break this area, the sellers can get triggered. And if this is ABC to the upside, this area is important. And when we're breaking that, the buyers can be triggered. So if you combine all these reasons, you can take a trade. Okay. So let's see. This is also a seller's entry, but still there's a gap. But since the previous candle has touched this, it means that the sellers are actually in the market. Let's see if we can go with the buyers after this. Uh, no, I don't see any opportunity. Let's just check out their pairs. Okay, hold on, hold on. No, this was a this was a very nice opportunity here. But we missed that because you see that this is a okay. Come down a little more. I enter right here. Come down. Okay, let's go. Yeah, the reason behind this this trade is because you see that um the candle is starting exactly from the round number, so there's high chance to buyers to enter. This is a gap down, okay? Oh my god, please don't lose this. All right, that's a winning trade. But if you look at here, please focus at this point in the market. You see that, first of all, the market in higher scale is in a ranging phase. It means that the market is switching between the, these upper band and lower band it means that if it touched down here it's gonna start to go up again okay like this exactly like this all right so this is a major ranging market all right and now the market has been coming down in a minor um in a minor trend and we have a buyer's entry here this is breaking that strong buyer's entry and it's starting exactly from this round number with this gap down okay that's why the buyers can enter all right i'm sorry my my phone was ringing so now you see that the market is going up and this is ABC to the downside first of all and then this area is basically a supply area but it has created a third touch level. This is second touch and this is going to be the third touch plus we have this lower low right here. So do you know what the best trade here would be? It would be a uh, fake breakout trade for example uh that would be amazing if we create a doji right here okay and the next candle comes and break this level that's gonna be a very beautiful trade but we don't know if this is gonna give us a doji so we're just gonna consider this as a breakout trade so if i uh draw the line it's also associated with this you know round number here as well let's make it even stronger now, after the candle coming in Breaking this, I will take a sell trade. So I will place this right here and wait for it. All right. Okay, let's see. Um, this is a major uptrend and also a minor uptrend based. Uh, it, it basically moves in this range, but the last time the price touch is this upper band and now okay let me see if i can take a very high risk trade on this one low amount oh my god what is happening let's go i enter right here 
what is happening and yeah i was i was expecting a drop basically and touching down right here but i don't know what has happened what i don't know what it what these bars are coming from that's so weird and yeah that's why we taken 25 trade here but still there's a chance to have a very nice rejection but i don't know where the bars are coming from and that's so weird for me because if you look at the previous candle this is a very big candle and closing exactly on the round number so normally we can't expect sellers in the market and uh yeah this is like uh, it is what it is let's see if we yeah this one is still so that was a losing trade with a very small risk oh this was very nice i mean this trade was also takeable and very nice to take look at this seller's entry is closing exactly on the seller's entry and this is a pattern as well this is also a red green pattern so this trade was takeable yeah this trade was a very weird movement of the candles oh we have this doji right here the market is creating this range right here in the lower scale of course and if this is the doji i can take a doji break if i have enough reasons the trend is not with us so it's a red flag let's see no nope You see what we missed? You see what we missed here? This doji break right here. God damn it. We could take this trade. Okay, I want to take a sell trade right here. And also, let's see. There's a nice center's entry. Let's see. I want to take oh my god also sell on this one as well okay let's see what the results gonna be both of them have hmm, they have a bad entry based on the candles open but this one is basically stronger than the previous one because if you look at here we have this overlapping level broke it with this candle okay that's one reason another reason is having this red green pattern okay uh the market is basically ranging to the downside see that the market is moving like this so this was a very strong trade compared to previous one which is this one it is also winning trade but the only reason for this is basically it has two reasons uh one of them is this beautiful abc to the downside and this significant buyer's entry, you see that? Support has been supported, 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 supported again, supported. So when we're breaking this, it becomes resistance. When it's associated with this ABC to the downside, which is a fresh supply, fresh supply, okay? It's even stronger. Can we add this trend line? Yes, we can, okay? Another thing is the market sequence. Look at this. We have two candles like this, and then we have same candles like this. Markets tend to, it, it really wants to repeat itself. Okay, so the market sequence is also with us. Okay, so these, these were my, oh, this trade was also very nice. Okay, that's about today's trading session, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like for me and hit the subscribe button so you know i we basically have i basically post my every single trading session every day so if you're interested you can just follow and turn on the notification bell so you get notified when i post okay thank you for watching and peace out